Frankie Trichelle for WDAM7. I'm back in Laurel at Laurel Sleep Disorder Center with Dr. Ajagbi. And last time we were here, we talked about sleep apnea in pretty good detail, but there are some other things people need to be cautious about when it comes to bad sleeping habits. Yeah, the, one of the most common causes of uh, sleep problems is insomnia. Insomnia is so common that almost everybody has had it once in their lifetime. When it comes to insomnia, you have to have a person go into details about what's causing the insomnia because once you don't know the basic cause of the insomnia, then you can't fix the insomnia. So once you get the cause of the insomnia, then you can see the physician. And in my own case, I don't just give medications. I try to find the cause of the insomnia so that we can treat the cause. And it can be simple things like just changing your old sleeping pattern and that will fix your insomnia. Now, you said most people have experienced insomnia at yes. some point. How long of a period of time would someone need to say, this has gone on long enough, I need help? So after three months of having problems with your sleep, with your insomnia, you need to see a sleep physician so that we can find out what's going on with that. And what do you do for your testing? So you come, you see me, and I'll ask you a few questions, and we'll find out what's causing the insomnia, because it's usually related to stress, uh, depression, family strife, and sometimes it's just the sleeping habits that you have that we'll need to fix. Okay, and will that require multiple visits? Oh, the first visit, by the second visit, we should have it in control. Oh, that's great. Yes. I didn't know it was such an easy fix. It's an easy fix with me. And as a reminder, you do accept insurance. Yes, we accept most insurances. All you need to do is give us a call and we'll call your insurance company and we'll get you situated. Thank you. Easy enough. Thank you for having us. Thank you very much.